Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, we got our LS lesson underway, and I've got to tell you, it's looking good, Brian. I'm excited. Absolutely. I'm very excited. A lot of progress since last week. You got the valve cover on here. Let's talk the front of the engine. Yeah, definitely. Well, on the front of the engine here, check this out. I got the whole timing system intact here. You can see it now. This is the camshaft and the camshaft gear. Down here is the crankshaft. Now, this is super important. It's either going to be dot, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. This one just happened to be dot to dot. So we brought the crankshaft up to meet the camshaft with dot to dot we put the timing on then we're in good shape then we went ahead and put the oil pump on right there in front you can see that we'll put the filter on and the other stuff a little bit later but that's huge because that puts number one at top dead center that also Brian when you're talking about interference engines and non-interference engines that could be a problem <sighs> catastrophic damage so no matter what engine you have Brian's gonna give us a spin around we're gonna kind of watch it as we it goes go around 60 this first yep. time see if we need to go 720 or not Everything looks Ooh. good. Everything's torqued to Man, spec. There it goes. Really, what feels a little tighter with those new rings. Yep, and the valves are all moving up here. Everything looks pretty good. We would do 720 to go through all four strokes. We're going to do that a little bit later. Now, on the upper end here, Brian took a lot of care. You think back to the first couple of segments. When he took everything apart, he made sure it was all organized. That was key. Why? Well, you got the little bolt here. You have the knobber here. You have the rocker that's going to the push rod. We're replacing them. Rock Auto gave us new rockers. They gave us a new timing set. They gave us a new oil pump too, that's huge. I recommend replacing those. These, if they're in fine shape, you don't have to, but we're going to anyway. But these guys here, they just slip right on there on the push rod. They're gonna go on top. I'll go ahead and torque them down. Now, when you torque these down, that's huge. What you gotta do is go ahead and do it to 22 foot pounds. Now, watch the manual, it says 22. It could be inch pounds, could be foot pounds. The bolts are pretty small. This one's foot pounds, so we don't have a problem there, Brian. Absolutely. Got to get those torqued right. We've got that done over here. We even have the valve cover on, of course, news gaskets there. I'm going to go ahead and set this plenum, this intake manifold back on. I've got the wiring harness out of the way there. You can also see we've got the new oil or the uh, original oiler line reconnected so we get equilibrium on flow. And as you set this guy down in, we got a new gasket on here as well. You're going to feel it sit right into place and drop in. That's really good right there, snug. We've got the bolts in, started up. Again, there's a torque sequence here too, John, just like a head. You want to start in the center and spread out, and you got to honor those torque specs. I like to do that twice. We'll get this guy cleaned up, and man, we're close. Yeah, yeah, you can look at the graphic right there. You start way from the inside, one, work your way out. 44 inch pounds, 89 inch pounds, make sure you do honor those torque specs. Boy, I'm excited for next week. You better join us next week for the LS build, but stick with us because there's more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com right after this.